right, so uh, today I thought I'd show you uh, somewhere local to me. Uh, today I'm going to be walking around Boddington Reservoir. Um, it's about a mile and a half, two mile circuit around the reservoir itself. Uh, it seems I might have picked the wrong day. <laughs> uh, there's a big fishing match going on on the northern end of the reservoir today. So normally I park sort of over to the west car park and then sort of go anti-clockwise around. Today I'm in the east side car park and I'm going to go clockwise around. Not that it makes much difference, but it's just that when it comes to the golden hour and everything, um, I quite like uh, sort of walking into it. You know, I've got some uh, nice pictures in the past of sort of uh, wildfowl on the water with a light behind them and you get all the gold and all sorts of stuff on the... On the lake. Uh, but today we're going to do something a bit different. And it's rammed today, so many people here. But there we go, that's life, right? So a couple of places that I might be able to tuck myself away. Um, it's a beautiful day. Um, we shall just see what we shall see. Fingers crossed, everybody. I've just come away from the, the main um, sort of reservoir area, really. There's a nature reserve over here as well. And it's a bit off the beaten track. It's a bit unkempt, unkempt at this time of year. Um, and there we go, that's where I am now. Start to go nice and quiet here. You can see there's a body of water, loads of reeds. In the summer, you can't get near it. But you do get wildlife in here. So it's always a worth. I just heard, that sounded like, Something disturbing a grey heron or something maybe. Let's go and have a look. There's a pair of um, great crested grebes over there. Just my luck, you know. You see by the way, it's uh, the sun's hitting my face. The sun's facing towards me and they're just silhouettes. And it's this time of year, of course, that they they do their little mating dance, they dive together and go up beside each other and shake their heads with weed in their mouth and what have you. Something I'm hoping to catch this year, you know, got about a month, end of February now. Let's see, come over again, you never know. It's a long way off for me to get some decent pictures, but the camera at the moment is, uh, we're recording some, there's two grey heron down there and they've been hassled by some magpies, which is quite nice to see. Uh, to get any real decent pictures, I'm way too far off. This is a field where you see egrets as well, um, and then heron's quite regular. Um, another project maybe. Oh my god! So there was me over there looking at those um, grey heron. There's two grey herons still there in the field. And then I hear it all kicking off behind me. And there's two grebes doing their mating dance. Oh my god! They didn't do the when they go up, uh, sort, of, sort of breast to breast bit, but they were waving their heads about and they dived together. And I hope I got some photos of it and I hope I got some video footage of it as well. So. Oh wow, it's turning out to be all right today.
Oh, freezing now. Absolutely freezing. Got in the car. Got the engine going, blowers on. Yes, and for those that are observant, I am in the passenger seat. It's just because I've got a thing here to hold things and I can put things up and I can, you know, they, they stay where they should be. Uh, steering wheel's in the way over there. Okay, so um, that was a good session, wasn't it? So what do we see? Uh, there was a woodpecker, there was a couple of blue tits, there was loads of the usual stuff. Um, there's some grey herons that were a bit too far off, but I did do some uh, footage of that. Uh, excellent, we just saw saw the, the, the grebes start in their dance. I've never seen that before, that was excellent. I got really excited by that, that was really cool. Um, there were some gulls at the end, and I stood talking to another photographer, and we sat um, where the fishermen normally go. Um, the sums sort of coming up, sort of to my coming down, going down to my right hand side, and, and the reservoir goes over to my left. And some, some lovely golden shots there as well. So, fingers crossed, they all come out uh, when I open them up in Lightroom and I haven't overexposed them or anything. So, cool. Um, guys, please do hit the like button, subscribe, hit the dingly bell, all that sorts of stuff. And I'll see you all very soon. I'm going home for a ch hot chocolate. I'm freezing. Bye bye.